The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. All right, good morning. Welcome to the Stock Scores Training Overview. I'm uh, Tyler Ballhorn, founder of Stock Scores, and I will take you through this presentation which focuses on the different trader training options that Stock Scores does. If you wanted more detail about how I day trade or how I invest in the market, there are videos from previous webinars that you can find on the Stock Scores YouTube channel. In this particular video, we will get more into the details of how to learn my approach. So the itinerary for this morning is I will provide a little bit of background on myself and how I came to teach people how to trade. Talk a little bit about why I think it's important to get a trading education. We will look at the tools of stock scores. I'll give you a little tour of the stock scores education center, and then I'll describe what the investor active trader and mentorship courses involve how you can register for those courses. And then finally, at the end of the presentation, I'm gonna show you how I find trading opportunities. So we will use the market scan tool on stock scores to look for longer term trading opportunities, the kind of thing that you would put in your retirement portfolio, that sort of thing. And I'll also show you how I use TradeStation to identify day trading opportunities. And ultimately, if you become one of my students and a member of Stock Scores, you will be able to use the tools that I show you in the video or in this presentation. All right, and finally, just sort of the steps that you can take to start trading and why I think it's important to get started. Sometimes that's the hardest thing is just getting started. All right, so my background. I started um, teaching people over 20 years ago when I was a university student, University of Calgary, there was a, a club that I ran at the university called the Speculators Club. And uh, myself and one other fellow ran that club and we had two or 300 fellow students as members and we would hold, I think weekly or maybe, maybe bi-weekly meetings that were attended by other students. And that was sort of where I started to learn about the markets and pass on what I knew about the markets to others. I was an avid trader in university, helped me pay my way through school, and I was able to make a lot of contacts in the financial industry because I was putting on these meetings and we would get guest speakers out, and it was um, a really great way for me to start learning, and then in, in, in also by teaching, I was learning myself. So when I left university, I started trading the market as my job, if you will. Um, I wasn't making enough money initially to support myself, so I also worked as a DJ that was in the evenings mostly, so I could trade the market during the day, didn't sleep much, and just kept refining my approach and learning. And after about eight years of from, from when I first started trading, so through my university years, I did okay, but I wasn't making a lot of money. But about eight years after I started, I really started to make a lot of money and um, I was stuck with teaching. I was uh, after university, I was part of another investment club in Calgary where I lived. And it was, you know, adults, people generally older than me who uh, were part of this club. And I would do presentations on a regular basis, sharing the research that I was doing. I was developing my own approach and sharing that stocks that I found that I liked. I would talk about those. And so that was sort of, again, just another step in my teaching process. Then I started the Stock Scores website, and as part of that website, we had a education component. We had tools, but we had to teach people how to use those tools. And in order to gain membership, I thought it was important for people to know how to trade my approach. And so I started teaching and 
traveling all over the country, really. Uh, TD Bank, which is, a, for those who don't live in Canada, that's one of the largest banks in Canada. They hired me to travel to all the major cities in Canada and teach their uh, clients. I can remember one presentation I did in Edmonton. We had um, 1,200 people crowded into a conference center in Edmonton, all clients of this brokerage house, TD Water, or was, back then it was TD Greenline. And, uh, you know, we did that all over the country. And again, just developing my skill as a teacher and teaching people my approach, because what I do isn't normal. If you go to the bookstore, you're not going to read about my approach to the market because it's unique in many ways. There are things that I do that are common to other approaches, but there's things also that are fairly unique that you're not going to get from, you know, a book that you get from the bookstore. As I sort of gained... Um, awareness of, of my trading ability, but also my ability to teach others. I started getting hired by brokerages to teach their staff. I've taught the staff of, of a few different brokerages in Western Canada. You know, these are the brokers who are managing other people's money. The, the manager or the owner of the brokerage firm would hire me to come in and, and teach classes. And I did that quite a few times, actually. I don't do it much anymore, but it was a common thing that I did. I also have been hired by some large um, institutional fund managers. I was going to say hedge funds, but they're not really hedge funds, more pension funds. Um, I, I am not actually allowed to say who they are because they made me sign non-disclosure agreements. But some of the largest uh, pension funds in Canada have hired me to teach their fund managers my approach as well. So I think I come from a fairly legitimate background of teaching uh, and, of course, in addition to TD Bank, I also was hired by Desjardins, uh, Disnat. For seven years, I taught their clients my approach, and they licensed my tools for a long time. So I've gone through a, a, a process of doing the right things well enough to, you know, I guess, impress or, or pass the, the vetting process for these large institutional and, and corporate uh, firms who hired me to teach. And I, I really don't do that a lot anymore. I, I teach very little now. Once or twice a year, I run a mentorship group. And I once or twice a year, I will complement our online trading with some live training. And we'll talk about that as the presentation continues. So why should you get a trading education? Why not just try to figure it out yourself? Well, as I've often said, stock trading and investing are simple, but they're not easy. There's a lot of inside knowledge in trading the market properly. I think a lot of people think, well, it seems simple. You just buy and sell stocks that you hear about. How hard can that be? But I will tell you that there's a lot of tricks to it. It's really like anything. I think any industry, someone who's very knowledgeable in it does it their own special way, whereas the average person maybe doesn't appreciate some of those tricks and, and tips that make it better. And so I think learning how to teach from someone who has a lot of experience and a track record of success is going to save you a lot of money and time. I think, you know, for myself, I figured it out myself. I, I taught myself how to trade the market, but it took a long time and I paid a lot of expensive lessons. And because I taught myself, I've made every mistake I think anyone else will make. And I've made them over the course of 25, 30 years. And I will tell you that if, if someone was able to teach me when I started out, I would have saved myself a lot of time and money. The other thing I think that's important is when you learn from someone that has developed an, uh, an approach and gone through all of the hardship to develop that approach, it gives you a sense of confidence that, you know, if you're listening to someone who's done it and made all the mistakes already, it's something to believe in a little bit more. You know, it's it's like if, if I was to do my own plumbing at home, I don't know a lot about plumbing. I know the basics maybe. And I can look at a YouTube video and watch some of the basics about how to fix a clogged drain and probably figure it out. But I approach it without a lot of confidence. And that shows in how long it takes me to do it and in the mistakes I make. When you're experienced with something, you have some confidence that your abilities are 
valid. And learning from someone that has experience, I think, helps to give you that confidence. And so one of the things that I think is very important about what I do is not only do I put videos online and I do these online classes and I write books and that sort of thing, but I also support my students as they go through the learning process, whether it's a week after they sign up for one of my courses or a year after or 10 years after. I have students that took my very first courses back in 2001, I think, and I still hear from them from time to time as they, you know, come back to me asking questions about things that have evolved in my approach and that sort of thing. So really when you get a trading education from me, you're leveraging my experience. It will help you have more confidence. It'll speed up the process. It'll make it less costly. So it's not just about the education because as I said earlier, my approach is unique in many ways. It's not doing common technical analysis. It's not doing common fundamental analysis. It's not the things that you will read about in a $40 book or get off of a video on YouTube. I have developed my own tools, my own indicators, my own algorithms, whether it's for longer term investing or for day trading. And one of the motivations for creating my stock scores website is that I didn't have the tools that I needed. I was using sort of rudimentary tools like Microsoft Excel and, and a lot of just paper calculations to identify the stocks that I wanted to trade. And it was too time consuming. And so I partnered up with Stockhouse back in 2000. We built the Stock Scores website, the market scan. Literally hundreds of thousands of dollars of development time went into that website. It's not, you know, a, a fly by night operation. We've now been around for 18 years. We have the market scan tool, which is what we're going to use. At the end of the presentation, I'll show you how it works. We'll do some scans together, see if we can find some stocks that are worth considering. And in that process, I'll show you the charting tools that we have. We have something called a risk calculator, which helps you determine the position size for your trade based on your risk tolerance and based on the risk of the trade. Uh, a few years ago, I developed a trading simulator, which is at tradescores.com, which is another website that I own. Again, hundreds of thousands of dollars spent creating a tool that you can practice on in your education, in your application of what I've taught you. It's better to practice with a simulator than use real money as you're gaining your experience and learning to be better. I also have some proprietary indicators for TradeStation, things like my action candle, my message candle indicator, something called a stock scores pivot trend line which are indicators that I make available to my students. And we're gonna use uh, those indicators in the, at the end of the presentation when I show you TradeStation. I also have some very specialized strategies that we use for a service called Active Live. It's not something I distribute to students, but it is something that you can watch being enacted every day in this Active Live daily trading webinar where you see my algorithms running in real time identifying the stocks that I trade. And it's the same tool that I use to identify trading opportunities. All right, so I'm gonna, before we get into using the tools, I'm gonna show you the Stock Scores Education Center. But before we jump over to the Stock Scores website to show you that, I'll just give you an overview of the different components. For the theoretical education sections, we have a lesson, a video, an assignment, and a test for each topic area. So we'll take a look at a topic area called the six elements of chart patterns. These are the six things that you need to understand to evaluate any stock, any commodity, any currency, real estate market, doesn't matter. Anything that you can chart prices of, you can apply the six elements of chart patterns to determine the likelihood that it will go up or down in the future. And so for that particular module, we have a written lesson a video, in that case, the video is about 40 minutes long. There is an assignment, so you can apply what you have learned in the lesson and video. And then there is a little test, 10 questions, to make sure your understanding of the material is accurate. Within the Stock Scores Education Center, there are four levels. There is the free level, which you can go access after this presentation. Those are just some videos on the basics of trading. There is the foundation area, which is the theory that you need to understand in order to apply 
my strategies. And then within the investor section, there are my investor strategies, the things that you use to find longer term trades. By longer term, I mean more than a few weeks, potentially months or sometimes even years, but usually just months. And then there is the active trader area where you will learn my strategies for day trading and swing trading. So let's jump over to the Stock Scores website now. Um, this is the home page. We can go into the trader training area and slide down to Education Center. I'm already logged in, so I have access to everything here. If you were not logged in, if you are not a, um, an active trader or investor member, you would see all the titles, but you wouldn't see the content. You will see the getting started area. So if you wanted a tour of the Stock Scores website, if you want the basics of how to make trades, the basics of how to read charts, um, those are all contained in this area. And they're just videos. You can watch them as often as you like, and they're free to view. So we'll close that up for now. And we'll jump down to the foundation area where we have the theory for applying the methodology that I use. So you can't really understand my strategies unless you understand the theory first. And this is where the bulk of your work will come in if you're learning my approach. You don't have to maybe study every section. Some sections are specific to different, different strategies and approaches. For example, if you are wanting to develop your own trading strategy, then you would focus on this developing a trading strategy section. But many of my students have no interest in that. They really just want to use my strategies. And so you wouldn't necessarily put a lot of energy into developing a trading strategy. Although I do think it's a good thing to review at least once so that you can understand the process that I go through to develop a, a strategy. So let's jump into the six elements of chart patterns and click on the lesson. And in here, you can see the components of that particular module. So you'll see me there talk about inflection points. And here are the six elements of chart patterns. And as I cycle through, there's lots of detail there to read. And if you're someone who prefers to print it out on paper, there is a PDF that you can print so that you can carry it around to the coffee shop or what have you and read it on paper, make notes on it, that sort of thing. It's quite easy to do it that way. Others would prefer just to read it electronically, and you can do that either through a computer or you can do it from your phone or your iPad or whatever. There have is also the video. So we can click on the little video icon and I can click on play. Again, you can watch this on your computer, your phone, whatever you prefer. Sorry, I said it was 40 minutes. It's actually 30 minutes and 31 seconds. I've turned the sound off, but there's some snazzy music playing right now. And then I come on and teach the topic for that half an hour lesson. And this would be the same thing that I used to teach in a university classroom. I used to teach my approach over a two-day class that was held at universities, University of Calgary, Simon Fraser University in Vancouver, uh, Tr Toronto, uh, the University of Toronto. I would teach these lessons over a two-day period. That was great because it was a, I got to see people face to face and uh, it, you know, it was a, a good way to learn. It forced you to sit down and learn it over those two days. The downside of those weekend classes was that you really only remembered what was in the book and what you took notes of. You couldn't go back and review my lesson as it was given to you in that class because it wasn't recorded. So now all of this is recorded and you can watch these videos over and over again. You can go back to them a year after you first studied that lesson and really learn the material well. Then we have an assignment. So here you can see First question, identify the inflection points on the following charts. And so you would go through that process. You could print it out, go through that process to do the assignment. And then of course, there is an answer to the assignment that you would review later to make sure you understood the questions posed in the assignment. Finally, there is a little quiz. So you can see here some questions. What are the inflection points? And you, know, you can see the answer for the first question is E. So you should get at least one out of 10 now. Um, but it's fairly in-depth, but also self-guided. You can do it on your own time. You can decide to do it over the course of a weekend and you'll probably get through it in a day or two. 
or you can spread it out and do it over three months, you know, doing a module here, a module there, but do the work. And it's taught all by me. People have told me it's easy to understand and I think um, real valuable for someone who's just getting started out in trading or someone who's, you know, been managing money for an institutional pension fund for years. There is always going to be tidbits in here that you will learn no matter what your experience level is. I have taught people from someone who's never traded a stock in their life to someone who's managed $300 million. And I think everyone gets something out of it. All right. So that is the uh, education center. And you can just jump back one page here again to the list. That was the foundation area. Within the investor area, we have the exit rules for the investor strategy. And then we have a number of investment strategies. And the reason there's a few different ones is because there are different market conditions. For example, the bottom fishing strategy is a strategy that I apply mostly after a um, downward trend in the market. And so it's something that we do when the market is coming out of a bearish trend, but we don't do it that often. I haven't done it much lately, although given the correction in the market of the past month, that's something that we may be doing again soon. There are strategies for people who want to do their work just on the weekend. Maybe they only want to put 15, 20 minutes a week into managing their portfolio. So then they would focus on the stock score, simple weekly strategy or the stock score, simple ETF strategy and make 10 trades a year. Others want to be more active as investors. They will maybe do their work a few nights a week or nightly or daily. And for those people, the action break strategy, the abnormal breaks, the stock score simple, those would be the ones that they would focus on. So there's something for everyone. Currently, the strategy I'm using the most is the action break strategy and the abnormal breaks. Seems to be working the best. That's the investor strategy area. I can also go into the active trader area. And there you see a module on the active trader exit strategy. We also have some videos and, and lessons in here on how to use TradeStation, which is software that I like to use for my active trading approach. You don't have to use TradeStation. I think it's well worth it. Uh, the price on TradeStation has just come down to $99 a month. I have nothing to do with TradeStation. I get none of that money. They don't pay me a commission or anything like that. I'm not paid to promote them, but I love the tool and I've used it for, gosh, at least 10 years, probably more. Yeah, probably more. There is also my day trading strategies, the superheroes, the stock scores, day trader, the intraday pullbacks, and then a swing trading strategy for those who don't want to spend all day trading, but maybe want to give an hour in the morning or perhaps half an hour at the end of the day, end of the trading day to identify trades that they might hold for, you know, a few days to a couple of weeks, typically less active, but still quite active. And that's what that strategy is for. And within this area, there is a lesson written one explaining the rules for entry, for exit, for risk management, the processes for finding the trades. And then of course, there's a video explaining as well. Some people like to read, some people like to have things taught to them verbally. And so I cover both. I recommend you look through both, but they're essentially the same information just designed for different learning styles. All right, so that's an overview of the Stock Scores Education Center. Let's jump back into the presentation and talk about the different courses. So the investor course gives you access to the foundation lessons. So that's the theory. And of course, it gives you access to the investor strategies in the Education Center. It also gives you access to the Stock Scores Investor Strategy Market Scans. I'm going to show you the market scan tool at the end of the presentation and we'll actually do a scan or two together. See if we find anything. I'm not super optimistic. We'll find anything given the, you know, crazy market we've had the last few weeks, but we'll try. Sometimes we see maybe a small cap stock that's made the kind of moves I like to see with the investor course. You also get email support from me as long as you are a member of stock scores with the course you get six months membership access to the stock scores tools. Primarily the tool is the market scan, which allows you to look through the market for opportunities as often as you like. And you can renew your access to that tool for $300 Canadian per year. The active trader course 
gives you all of that stuff, but it also gives you access to the active trader strategies. So when we were in the education center there, I showed you the strategies for the active trader course, and you would have access to that, of course. It gives you access to the active trader market scans on stock scores. We have a few, mostly for swing trading, that you can access through the market scan tool. Again, email support for me. And a unique element to the active trader course is you get a, a bundle of my proprietary real-time indicators for TradeStation. So for those of you that do want to use TradeStation, I will send you my action candle, message candle, pivot trend line. There's a couple others that I send so that you can use TradeStation with the indicators that I've spent years and thousands of dollars developing. I will give you those as part of the course fee. It also makes you eligible for the active live service. So the active live service is where you watch this screen that I use to identify trading opportunities. So for the day trade screen, and I'll show you this window in a moment, for the day trading screens, everything that comes up there fits the rules of my day trading strategy. And the only question is whether it's the right time of day to take those trades. We have something called market factor. So every morning from 9.30 to 10, we take trades. Some days it's long trades, some days it's short trades. For example, on Friday, it was all shorts on the open. We did not take the longs. Now, the, the uh, tool will calculate and identify all of the buying and short selling trades. But I make a comment at the start of the day about what our focus should be on the open. Some days are going to be up days. Some are going to be down days. We are doing some analysis, which determines whether we pick long or short. So again, on Friday, it was a short sell day. That turned out to be correct because the market sold off from the open. It actually opened strong, market gapped up on Friday, but sold off throughout the day. So it was a, a lucrative day for short selling, especially those trades that were taken at the open. Now, on a day like um, Friday, there was probably 20 trades in the opening half an hour. We don't necessarily take every one of them. Every one of them is valid. I, I try to take as many as I can but it's hard to fill 20 stocks, uh, 20 trades uh, for two reasons. One, it takes a lot of capital to do 20 trades. But I, for me, more importantly, it's just hard to get that many orders filled. So I often get asked, are you telling people the trades you're taking as if to imply that there is some extra bit of analysis that I am doing to determine whether I take the trade or not? And the answer is no. Every trade that comes up on that screen, as long as it's within the right time frame, within the right market factor is valid. There's no one is better than the other. So every trade is valid that comes up on the screen. And I'll show you the screen in a moment. So with this active live service, it's a live webinar that runs during market hours every day that the market is open. It's automated. Um, I've got very powerful computers running automation. Uh, macros are running and uh, algorithms are running to identify the trade signals as they happen. It's real time. There's no delay. You're seeing what I see. And I do this, I, I make trades based on the same screen that you're watching. So essentially, I do the work to find the trades so you can focus on making them. And it's really not me doing the work, it's the computer doing the work, it's all automated. But because the market is faster moving than it was last year and certainly than it was 10 years ago, we need to really be focused on getting into the trades as quickly as we can. That is one of the things that give us an edge in the market is the fact that I've got these algorithms that identify things long before most people find them. And it's kind of funny because I'll, I'll buy a whole bunch of stocks on the open and usually for the first 10 or 15 minutes, they don't really do anything. And you think, you know, are these really gonna work? And what happens though is that the rest of the market is like, 10 or 15 minutes behind what I am doing. And so other people that apply sort of the same kind of ideas that I apply, which is looking for abnormal activity and that sort of thing, they're finding the same stocks, but they're finding them after we do. And then they come in and buy them. And that often is part of the reason these stocks move is you have the crowd chasing after these stocks that are signaling that there's something going on. 
and we just find them first. And so often um, my, my profitability is actually negative for the first little while because the rest of the world hasn't figured it out yet. And then as the day progresses, they start to work. And Friday was a great example of that. I shorted a whole bunch of stocks on the open. And I think for the first 15 or 20 minutes, they weren't that profitable. They were a little bit, but, but not significantly so. But as the day wore on, they got more and more profitable. And by the end of the day, those uh, trades from the opening half an hour were very profitable. They ended the day basically at their maximum profitability for the day. So the active live service is only available to people that take the stock scores active trader course. You know, I could, I suppose, charge people to access it. But if I did it that way, I would have way more people using it. And I think it would take away the value of the service because if too many people use it, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy and it's hard for, for those who use it to actually make money from it because there's too many people doing it. And so I want to caution you anytime you see a, a chat room service or, you know, these, these chat rooms where you have people shouting out the stocks that they're buying and there's a thousand people in those chat rooms or even a few hundred realize that it's very difficult to make money in those rooms because you're competing with too many people. And in order to make money in the market, you have to have an edge over the crowd. Well, if you're part of the crowd, you've lost that edge. So this is how the uh, tool looks. Um, I'll, I'll explain these windows here. So this window here is the swing trade alerts. And so those happen every 13 minutes and you can see the time there. See 9.43 is the, um, I mean, there was probably seven or eight stocks signaling and entry signal at 9.43. Now at 9.43 and 9.56, I come on and I give you my rating of those because that is where there is, it's not entirely automated. There is some judgment that we have to do assessing the chart pattern. We have more time with those ones, so it's not a big deal. So I come on at uh, 9.43 and I'll rate each of those trades out of 10. A seven out of 10 is a good one. Eight out of 10 is you know, something that I really think is worth considering. Sixes are maybes, they might work, but you know, it's a bit more of a, of a lower probability trade. And fives are things that I wouldn't take. So I try to give a rating on, on those. I don't do that all day long. Most of the signals come in the opening half an hour. You'll get a few later on. And then for those ones, you're gonna apply the chart pattern recognition that I teach you to determine whether it's worth taking or not. I sort of do it for the first half an hour, largely as an education. Uh, if you see over and over again, the stocks that I'm rating sevens and eights and sixes, then you start to learn what I'm looking for. And I'll describe a little bit of what I see in that chart. Okay, so that is the uh, swing trading area. And then this is the long, so the buys on the day trades. You can see again, the times here and this updates every two minutes. So every two minutes, an algorithm runs and it spits out a list and the most recent picks will be at the top because they have the time that is the most recent. The ones down at the bottom are the ones that have already passed us by. So that's the um, long side and then here you have the short side. So for people uh, taking trades because the market's likely to move lower, which is again, what we looked for on Friday, we are watching that one and that alternates. So these also update every two minutes, but these update on the odd minute and the, the long trades update on the even minute. So every minute you're seeing a process run and we'll just let this video run. You'll actually see the process. And so what it's doing now is it's going to grab, if you look at the time down in the bottom right hand corner, just signal this here, see down in the bottom right hand corner is the time there. It says 108.57. So at 109, it's going to run a process that, you don't see it's on another screen on my computer. It runs this process, grabs the list from a scan that it does, and then it pastes it into this screen that you do see. And this screen is what calculates the algorithm. So watch this, you'll just see it change in a moment. It takes about five to 10 seconds to run. So there you can see it's deleting part of that list. And then it's gonna paste in a new list on the right window. And because it's 109, I know that it's gonna calculate the shorts because the shorts calculate on the odd minutes. So there you can see it just ran that. It took maybe 10 seconds and it told us 
what are the current signals. So the most recent one was at 12.58. So it actually hasn't found one in the last 11 minutes. It will find lots on the open. In the opening 15 minutes, there's way more than the, even the whole rest of the day, usually. Some days we have um, reversals that happen you know, in the middle of the day where we get a whole bunch of new trades. And that's based on one of the things I teach in the course material, something called the market factor. And I know that there's some people watching this video or attending this webinar who may have taken my course a year ago, two years ago. Just you're, a sec. you're probably I can't not... get the answer to that on HomePod. Sorry, my uh, for some reason my HomePod is thinking I'm talking to her. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so a, a lot of my old students are maybe not aware of some of these changes. If you took my course five years ago, go into the education center and read the new lesson on on the education center called the day trader lesson and i teach that that um, market factor concept and that's one of the great things about putting all of this education online is i can update it so i did that update i don't know maybe two months ago and now if you took the course 10 years ago you don't have to come to a class or buy something new it's it's all there you can log in and um, get that latest update and I send out emails when I make changes, but I know that email is not always super reliable. So if you haven't got an awareness of the fact that there is that update and you are an active trader member, go take a look at that. All right, so that's the active live session. So the final thing, final education option is something called the Stock Scores Mentorship. I only do this once a year. I don't know that I'll do it next year or not. I'm sort of, I'm slowly phasing this out but I am doing it this year. And this involves 12 weekly online meetings, similar to the, what we're doing today, but specifically getting into the education that makes up the Active Trader course. So we go through the theory for a couple meetings and then we really get into the process for finding day trades, um, how to use TradeStation, how to use the Active Live service so that you can determine for yourself which one you wanna use how to um, get your trades filled as quickly as possible, scaling into winning positions, all these different concepts that are uh, helping you do better in the market. I walk you through that over the course of 12 weeks. So that starts on November 20th, which is a Tuesday night at 6 p.m., our first meeting. And we will meet a couple times before the Christmas break. And then we'll take a break for three weeks, I think, over the holidays, um, I'm going to New Zealand and Australia, and I think most people are focused on family life and that sort of thing over the holidays, um, maybe on vacation, kids are out of school, that sort of thing. So we don't do the work through the holidays, but I will give you a little bit of homework to do just to practice. I'm going to walk you through the strategies, the processes, capital preservation, emotional control techniques, and then at whatever time you choose, could be two weeks in, I don't recommend it, but could be after the 12th week, could be a year from now, maybe not a year from now. I'd like you to do it within a year so that you benefit from it the most. But you will get a private one-on-one -on -one online meeting with me. We'll have audio, we'll talk back and forth, and I'll help you get things set up on your computer if you want. I can help you with something you don't understand with one of the strategies. It's really tailor-made for what you want. I ask every one of my students to send me an email in advance to tell me what they feel like they need to focus on and then i will tailor a meeting for you specific to your needs with the mentorship you also get three months of my daily email where i you know give a lot of trading lessons and show you trade examples talk about what happened in the market that day i highlight a day trade every day as a learning experience so you can see oh you know tyler bought blah 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 stock at 9 32 um I can see why based on the rules. So it's largely educational, but I also try to give you some stock ideas as well. So that mentorship program is limited to 15 students because I have to do these one-on-one -on -one lessons. You know, I don't have all the time in the world. So I'm limiting the mentorship to 15 students. Um, we have two spots left. So if you would like to do the mentorship, I recommend that you act fast because it's almost full. So which course is right for you? It really comes down to what your time is, what your interests are. 
If you don't want to day trade, maybe you have a full-time job, you can't sit in front of a screen, then the investor course is going to be the better one for you. It really teaches you how to manage your stock portfolio without making it a full-time job. It's 15 minutes a day, 15 minutes a week. You decide what amount of time you're willing to put in determines the strategy you're going to focus on. Now, for those who maybe want to trade two days a week or trade every day, you have aspirations of making a living trading the stock market. Maybe you're a year away from retirement and that's what you plan to do when you retire. I get that a lot. A lot of my students are people recently re retired. They've got cash and they don't want to do nothing. They want to keep their mind active. I also have people that are 22 years old that decide that they don't want to work a normal job. They think my lifestyle is pretty cool. You get to work in your underwear and uh, work anywhere in the world. <laughs> You know, I've been a, fortunate to live in Maui and live in Whistler, and I live in a place called Kelowna, which is a, a beautiful place in Canada where there's wine country and lakes. And, you know, it's the, one of the luxuries of being a trader is that you can live wherever you want. And my wife and I are talking about maybe moving to Rome for six months or, or New York for six months, cities that we both have been to a number of times and really love. That's one of the benefits of being a trader. So if you have that aspiration of being an active trader, you enjoy the market, you can put more time into it and you know have, have the flexibility and really looking for higher returns. Being active means you can turn your capital over more often because you're putting time into it. And uh, those are some of the things that make active trading worth doing. So if that is your story or at least the story you would like to have down the road, then take the active trader course. Now the mentorship, I would say is more focused on active trading. It's because active trading has, it, it's not, the rules aren't more complicated, but some of the processes are more involved. And I think it's really, really helpful to, for me to really walk you through how to do that, how to set up the computer to do it, um, how to structure your day, things that you can do to keep your emotions in check. There's no extra information over the Active Trader course, but I go deeper into it and I show it to you personally so that, you know, it's taught to you, I think, in more detail. I also think it's good for those who maybe need someone to kickstart them every week to learn the material. I give you a little bit of homework every week. And so it's, uh, you know, if you need someone to push you a little bit to learn, then the mentorship's going to do that. Now I'm complementing all of that online trading with some live trading that will start next Saturday. So a week from now, November 10th, I will do a three hour overview class that will start at nine in the morning and go till noonish uh, Pacific time. So if you're somewhere else in the world, you have to calculate the difference. We're in Pacific time in the North American time zone here. And um, we'll focus mostly on theory. We'll do a little bit of market scanning, but the bulk of the market scanning will come um, two weeks later, well, I guess nine days later, Monday, November 19th, we'll, we will do our first market scanning session together. We're going to do one of those today. We'll do it really quick today, but uh, for these investor strategy sessions, we'll get a little more in-depth and try to actually pick some stocks and have you see how I go through the process to evaluate stocks, what I look for. It's taking the theory that you learned on the Saturday and applying it. And that's for the people who take the investor course or the active trader course. For those who take the active trader course, you also get one month of that active live service for free. You can use it whenever you want, December, January, February, it's up to you. But there you will get my real-time trade alerts, my comments at the open, my comments in the final half an hour of the trading day. I show you my performance. I give you a spreadsheet every day showing the performance of the strategy, all the valid trades that came up that day so that you can learn from them, so that you can do your, your own data work. Uh, I don't give you everything that I use because I want you to develop those tools yourself. My approach to teaching people is to teach them, but also make them struggle a bit and do the work because two years from now, you need to be self-sufficient. Yes, I will always be there to answer your questions, but 
you're not going to make a career out of trading or manage your own portfolio better if you don't really do the work yourself as well. So I take you through that process, but I also make you do the work and, and struggle a little bit. And um, I, I want to be clear about that. It's not, it's not without effort. It's no different than wanting to get fit. You got to go to the gym or ride the bike or take a walk. You know, the, the work doesn't do itself, right? So special offer, anyone who registers for the investor or the active trader course prior to November 8th at 11 p.m. Pacific time, will get those bonus training sessions included for free. So that over, overview class on Saturday, the market scanning um, the following week, and the active trader live session to apply whenever you like, that'll be included. Now, I'm, I've been asked a few times by my past students. So let's say you took the course a year ago and you'd like to do some of these things again. Uh, the Active Trader Live you can subscribe to, but the investor market scanning and the overview class, if you want to repeat those, I will send out an email next week with how that will work. I haven't quite determined that because I sort of forgot that some people like to repeat them. So I will send out an email um, early next week. So if you are a current member of Stock Scores, a past student, uh, watch for that email. And if you don't receive it by, say, Tuesday night, um, it's probably in a junk folder or a spam folder. Check there first. And if you still didn't find it, email me and I'll, I'll tell you how to, how to participate in these um, upcoming live classes. So pricing, $2,495 for the investor course, $3,495 for active trader, $5,495 for mentorship. And uh, that's all Canadian dollars. If you took the Active Trader course last year and you want to upgrade to the mentorship, it's the $2,000 difference. If you took the investor course three years ago and you want to upgrade to the Active Trader course, I'm going to show you how to do that. It's simple, but it's a little hard to find. So what you do is you go to Stock Scores, you go to Trader Training and go to the Education Center, which is where I was already, and just go down to the Active Trader area and expand this and there will be a link here so there isn't a link for me because i'm already an active trader member but if you were a an investor member and you wanted to upgrade to active trader this is where you do it and you'll see there will be a link there upgrade to active trader for one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars you click on that and you can do the upgrade if you want to upgrade to the mentorship whether you're an active trader member or an investor member you have to email me and i'll put my email address up on screen soon um, because I have to, A, number one, make sure there's space, and B, um, give you a special link to register for that, because it's not it's not on the website anywhere. All right, I do this poll every presentation, so I am going to I am going to just pop that poll up. Now, if you answered this poll at a previous presentation, you probably don't need to answer again unless your answers change, I guess. But um, just answer that. This is just so that I can put you on an email list to send you an email next week with um, some follow-up information. I'm going to put some testimonials in an email for those who, you know, want to know from my past students what the kind of feedback I've received. I have a whole file of people who've sent me emails with comments, compliments, that sort of thing. And so I will um, email some of that out and a few other things. So I'll just leave this up here for another couple minutes. And again, that email will come out um, maybe Sunday, I don't know, in the next couple of days, I'll send that email out. Obviously, I need to give everyone a little bit of time before the cutoff, which is Thursday, to register for the course. So you'll, you'll get a bunch of stuff in the next couple of days, if, if you're interested. If you say no, I won't send you anything. All right, I'm going to shut this poll down. Give you another five seconds to answer here. I see people still throwing answers out there, so I'll just wait another couple seconds. And as we draw to the end of the presentation, I'm going to uh, tell you how to register, answer some questions, and then we're going to do a couple market scans, and I'll show you the the process on TradeStation that I use to identify day trades. All right, so let's shut down this poll. Thank you for answering. All right, so how do you register for the class? Now, I will send this in the email, but I'm going to show you as well. 
So the first thing, if you are not already a member of StockScores.com, you need to go create a free account at StockScores. That's pretty easy. You, uh, I'm going to log out here. You log out. And then you just go to log in. And here it says not a StockScores member yet. Sign up. So you click on sign up and you just fill out this basic information. We don't ask a lot. And now you have a free membership. You'll have a password and a username to log into the site. That will allow you to create watch lists, create portfolios. These are some of the free things that we have on stock scores so that if you want to track your portfolio and the charts and that sort of thing, that's free, but we have to have you register. Otherwise, we don't know that the portfolio is yours. So that's one of the motivations for becoming a free member to stock scores. You can also register for my weekly newsletter. I send out an email every week with a educational commentary on the market and some stock picks usually every week. So, you know, if you're not already a member, I recommend you do that. Once you have done that, then you're going to log into stock scores. So I'm going to click on login here and I'm logged in. And then if I wanted to buy the course, I go to trader training, learn how to trade, click on that. And this is an information page that gives you some information on all of the details of each course, as well as the link to buy it. So if I wanted to order the Active Trader course, I would click on this link. If I wanted to order the Investor course, I would click on that link. So then I click on it. It adds it to the shopping cart. It will say 3,495. Your membership cost is $300 a year, but remember you get six months free. So you're, you don't get charged $300 a year now, that just charges you in six months. If you don't want to be charged in six months, you just you can cancel it right away and it won't charge you. Then you go to final checkout. This is where you put in your payment information, your address, that sort of thing. And that's it. All right. So that is how you register for the course. However, if you would like to do the mem mentorship, you have to email me. I'll put my email address up on screen in a moment. If you want to upgrade, you do it the other way that I showed you, where you went into the education center and you do the upgrade from that page. And if you have any trouble, feel free to email me. Now make sure you register before November 8th to get that bonus training included. All right, so that's an overview of the classes about why I think education is important, a little background on how I have come to be an educator. It's not something I I started um, you know, recently, I've been doing this for a long, long time, and I've taught thousands of people how to trade. I've crisscrossed Canada, a little bit in the U.S. I've, you know, taught a wide range of, of investors from retail investors, which is what most of my students are, up to people that manage hundreds of millions of dollars. So now let's do a little bit of how we find trading opportunities, and then we'll answer some questions. So we're going to jump back into the market scan tool. I click on market scan. And we will run, uh, let's see, we'll run the abnormal break scan. We'll do it on Canada first. So there you can see I selected abnormal breaks Canada from that pull down and it populated the market scan tool with the relevant filters. Let me click on run market scan and it found three stocks that meet the criteria of that strategy. Now I can choose to view these charts in gallery or in slideshow. Slideshow is one chart at a time. Gallery is 10 charts per page. Now we only have three, so it's only going to show us three, but let's do slideshow. So in slideshow, I click go, it shows me the chart. And there's things that I teach you to look for in these charts. So in this particular case, I would give this chart a six out of 10 if I was going to rate it. It's trying to break a downward trend line, but it's doing so from a new low. I prefer to see it from a rising bottom. It's also not really through the downward trend line. If I drew the trend line here, I didn't do that perfectly. Let's try that again. You can see that it's just right at the trend line, made a pretty big jump on Friday, which means the reward for risk ratio is not great. I actually think this is better if it pulls back for a little while and then starts to go up again. So this is a stock I would keep an eye on and I would buy it or consider buying it on a break of a pullback. All of those things that I just discussed are things that I teach in the course material to look for, but uh, we'll give you a little preliminary look. All right, this one, uh, HLF. So this is decent. This is something called a bottom fishing pattern. Uh, we have a downward trend line like this. We're not through that, so that's a negative. We 
broke this steeper downward trend. We built a rising bottom and we're breaking from the rising bottom. Good chart, not a great chart. I'd give it a six out of 10. Now you see I'm doing this fairly quickly with practice. You too can do this quickly. It's not that hard. So downward trend line, steeper downward trend line. This to me is a stock that's coming back from oversold, really went down too far. It's another, uh, I believe that's a pulp and paper company as well. We've seen a couple of those. So it had a big day. There must've been something going on with that uh, industry. I think this stock will come up to this trend line and get stuck. And I think you wanna leave this one alone for now. Notice the stock scores are pretty negative. So that's okay for some strategies, but it's still, the, the market isn't too optimistic yet. All right, so that's the process that you would do 15 minutes a day if you were looking for opportunities on the Canadian market. Let's go into the market scan again. Do that same strategy on the US side, run the scan. This time we have 34 stocks. You can see that right there. So let's view these in the gallery viewer so we can do it a little more quickly. So go gallery. And now I see smaller charts. And with practice, you'll know what to look for. I can literally go through these charts this quickly. If I see something that I think has potential, I click on the chart, which will expand it. And now I can do some quick analysis. So I say, okay, we've got optimism. We had a resistance. This is called an ascending triangle pattern. I can see strong volume price break out of that pattern. Pretty good chart. However, I'm not done. So at this point, I like it. However, I also want to look at the longer term time frame. So notice that I have these time frame links at the top here. I can click on three year. So now I'm going to get a three year weekly chart. And again, I can expand that and I can See, now I have a cup and handle pattern. Cup and handle pattern, breakout from a cup and handle, strong volume. I would give this stock an 8 out of 10. You'll probably see that uh, if you subscribe to my newsletter. I'll probably feature that stock in my newsletter. In fact, I'm writing it down right now so that I don't forget because I like that chart. All right. How long did that take? Seconds to find it, right? That The tool is a huge time saver. Let's take a look at the three-year chart of this one. No, I don't like that enough. I think this one, the bus has left the station. It's a good continuation pattern because it's gone sideways for a few months. It's now breaking out, good volume. That's good, but I think if I look at the three-year chart, I will find that, because I looked at this one earlier, it has an issue in that it's coming up to this long-term resistance on the weekly. <clears throat> so it's debatable whether it's going to break through that. So I would give this a six out of 10, but I would also watch it because if it pulls back for a little bit here and kind of goes sideways and then makes a new breakout, it actually wouldn't be too bad. All right, so I can continue cycling through these charts. And again, with practice, you'll be able to go through them very quickly. And this is really how we can analyze the whole market in just a few minutes a day. This one looks interesting. So let's click on this. Um, Take out my line drawing tool. By the way, this tool that I'm using to draw lines for you is something called Zoomit. It's a free tool. Just Google Zoomit, Z-O-O-M-I-T. And you just download this little app. I hit a little keystroke, Control-D, and then I can just draw on my screen with my mouse. Or I have a touch screen, so I'm actually using my finger to do that. So that's a break of a downward trend line. It's from a new low but it's kind of made a triple bottom once, twice, three times. So I like that. Let's take a look at the three year. So I see a bit of an issue because in the very long term downward trend, we're still below those. And so upside is probably limited to about there. So that's about $17 a share. I'm going to go back, take a look at the six month chart. So $17 a share is not that far from where we are now. So our entry is here, support is about there. One of the things that I like to see is that it has enough upside potential for the risk you have to take. And in this case, this stock doesn't quite have that. So I'd give this a six out of 10. I do think it will go higher. I just don't think it will go high enough to compensate me for the risk. So these are all things that I'll teach you how to do. I'm going through it pretty quickly. I don't wanna be here all day and I also don't wanna give away all my secrets for free. Let's... Uh, Finish up, I've got a couple more pages to go. We found one good one, another one that's maybe one to keep an eye on. I'm gonna take a look at the three year on this one. This one's not too bad. It's not 
perfect, but something's going on there. It's trying to get through this resistance zone. Had some good price action, good volume this week. I'd give that a 6.5 out of 10. I worry a little bit that it's going to get stuck at this resistance. It's one of those ones where it might surprise us and do something, but the probability is lower. So I'd say it's got a 60% chance of moving higher. Uh, that one kind of left the, the bus left the station already. Breakout was on Thursday. If you ran the scan on Thursday, it would have come up. Okay, we're going to do one more page, and then we're going to just look at Trade Station and how we look for opportunities there. Starbucks, uh, coming into resistance, I think it gets stuck at 65, probably pulls back next week. All right, so that's the process for swing trading. Now, for day trading, you would set up a screen where you start by scanning the market, so we can run a scan. I've got this scan called Worm, which is what I call my day trader strategy. I actually changed the name recently, but and then you grab all those symbols and you paste them into a window. Now I'm going to paste it into a window that actually has a strategy in it. Normally you wouldn't have, well, I don't, I don't give this strategy away. It's something that's only available via Active Live. But if you were um, using my other indicators, you'd build a window like this where you'd have um, where you would have something called an action candle indicator, and it would alert you to all the stocks making an action candle on the two minute time frame. So this is doing a bunch of calculations right now, and they're more in depth calculations than what you would normally do, because it's actually calculating all of the stocks that met the criteria today, long or short. Now remember, Friday was a short day, so I actually should have run the short scan, but we'll see uh, some of these come up here. During the trading day, TradeStation is a lot faster. On weekends and in the evenings, it slows down. I think they do system maintenance or something, but it's always a bit slower. So then I can rank all of these by RR, for example, and see that CNAT was the top performing buy trade on Friday. It made a 6RR. So if I jump back over here, I can pull this up on the chart. CNAT, and I have to make this a two-minute chart. So... Can you see? I'm going to blow this up. So you can see here that this automated strategy actually plots the, the risk reward lines is what we call these. It plotted those automatically. And again, that's exclusive to the Active Trader uh, live webinar. So if you're watching that webinar, these are the kind of things I can show you. I teach you how to draw these lines otherwise. But it's a little bit hard to see, but there's a pink dot right where my arrow is. And that pink dot signifies that this stock made an action candle. And so that was the entry signal. It wasn't, it was valid in the sense that it met all the rules. It wasn't valid because we weren't looking for buying opportunities at that time of the day on Friday. We were shorting on the open. Um, but it's a nice little tool to help you identify opportunities. If you want to run TradeStation yourself, then I would help you. I've got some lessons on how to set up TradeStation with my indicators. Many people don't want to learn software. They would rather have me do the work for them. And so for those people, you would subscribe to Active Live. And of course, with the Active Trader course, you get that included for free for one month. All right. So let me sort of conclude by saying don't don't wait. If you if you like the market, if you want to learn how to be a trader, start trading. You need to understand what makes stocks move. You need to understand the theory behind why my methodology works. That's where we start. We start with the theory. You don't have to know anything coming in. I'll start at a very basic level. However, we also get to a high level of sophistication, things that are going to be good for those who've traded for 20 years. My courses give you exclusive access to my tools. I don't do a lot of marketing. You won't see me with thousands and thousands of followers because that's not what I want. I don't want a lot of people doing what I do because I do it myself. I don't want the opportunity to go away. I want to make enough off of this business to sort of pay the bills of stock scores, make sure I can keep those tools up that I use. Um, you know, I pull money out of it so I don't have to pull money out of my trading account. And that's my motivation for teaching people and for creating these tools. It is not to teach 10,000 people, which some companies do. That's not my, my motivation. It's important to learn risk management to preserve capital. Our number one goal 
is capital preservation. And that's, I, I can't emphasize that enough. When I teach you, it's all about starting slow, learning, practicing, giving you a simulator so you can practice, having a process so that you gradually increase your risk so that you're not um, losing money while you, while you learn. Not to say that you can't lose, but we're trying to minimize that. Losing is part of trading, by the way. I lose every day, but we want to make money over time and you have to practice first. I'm going to give you a plan. You're actually going to write it, but I'm going to give you the components of a trading plan for when to enter, exit your trades, long or short term, long or short trades. And I give you all of the knowledge. You write your plan, you email it to me, and I give you my feedback on your plan. The market is giving us opportunities every day. It doesn't matter if the market's correcting, going up, going down, going sideways. There's opportunities every day. And I've got tools and processes to help you find that. And if you have an interest in learning those things, please take the course. I don't know that I'm going to teach forever. So um, the time is now, as they say. I will take some questions now. Looks like I've got quite a few here. So let me just read those. And if I miss your question, there are quite a few on the screen. So I will um, apologize in advance. If I miss something, you can email me your question. Um, and, I, you know, someone's making the point here. I commend your efforts to teaching. I, too, agree that teaching is also a great way to learn. I really do learn a lot about trading from teaching people because it makes forces me to really be specific and explaining things. And it forces me to be better and make strategies that are simpler. And um, I, I benefit a lot from teaching people. Uh, do you need TradeStation to gain access to your proprietary indicators or can you use some other platform? So my indicators only work on TradeStation, unfortunately. Um, I, I've had students try to do them for TC2000, but TC2000 was missing some, some elements that I need for my indicators. If you don't want to use TradeStation, then I recommend you use Active Live and just get a very basic real-time charting program. If one has the investor level program, are the other videos available, foundation, et cetera? Yes, that's all. Just log into stock scores. It should all be automated. And if you find, like you think you might be missing something, email me and I'll check it out for you. Um, what market scans include for investor members? What if I do not renew the $300 subscription? What kind of scans do I get? Uh, you can only use the market scan if you are a paid member. It, I don't um, make it available otherwise. So you have to pay that $300 a year to use that tool. I don't really work in my underwear. Well, some, some days I do, but usually I get dressed in the morning and uh, someone just <laughs> making the comment that maybe that's too relaxed. And I do try to, I get up actually at 4.30, go to the gym and uh, sit down by 6.00 go through my pre-market looks, and then I have my market commentary come on at 6.25 a.m. Market opens at 6.30 a.m. where I live and uh, trade all day. It was a lot harder when I lived in Hawaii because the markets open at either 4.30 or 3.30, depending on the time of year. So you can imagine having to wake up at 3.30 in the morning and trading in the complete darkness while everything's quiet. The only, only good thing was that I got to listen to the sound of the ocean. Ah, next one. Is there online trading for investors only? Uh, yeah, that, all of that, um, all of that stuff in the education center, the foundation and the investor area, that's for the investor students. The active trader stuff is just a separate section in the education center. Are the investor market scanning sessions recorded for those that can't make one of the sessions? Yes, they will be recorded. So you can watch them again later. Or if you miss them, you can watch them again for the first time. Can free members use the market scan tool? No. No, it's only available. Well, there's a very limited, I think you can scan based on the stock scores indicators, but none of the other filters. Another question, is the November 10th class recorded? Yes, it is. So that three hour class will be recorded. There's a ton of information in that class, so it's important to um, be able to go back and re review it. Uh, what would the taxes be for a BC resident? Uh, I think it's just GST. It'll show you when you try to purchase, it'll show you, but I'm pretty sure it's just GST. 
Uh, what was the moving average setting on the trade station two minute chart? I think that was a 40 period moving average. I don't really use moving averages except for one thing with our market factor on the 13 minute chart. We use a 40 period, but um, I'm not a big moving average user. Does your tool you showed analyze company performance? Uh, if you're asking, does it get into company fundamentals? No, it does not. If you're looking for a tool to do that, I recommend Finviz. They uh, show a lot of the financial ratios and that sort of thing. But that's not something that's part of my process for evaluating a trade. Uh, so many, I feel like I might miss some here. Uh, where are we? Hold on a second. On your day trading strategy, if you don't trigger stop loss points, do you mostly just exit at 3.50 p.m. or at the end of the day? Uh, I exit any time in the last half an hour. If I see the market, let's say I'm long stocks and I see the market breaking down in the last half an hour, I'll exit early. Otherwise, I rate and wait until one minute before the close. Um, your trading computer video is where? So if you go to the uh, Stock Scores YouTube channel, so go to YouTube, do a search for, pardon me, do a search for um, stock scores. You'll find the stock scores YouTube channel. And in there, you will see lots of videos. Um, I did a couple of videos on my new trading computer and what to look for in a trading computer there. You can give those a look. Do you plan on using trade scores in your training going forward? Uh, well, trade scores is used as the simulator. Uh, if you wanna practice, that's where you go is tradescores.com for the simulator. How many hours does it take to learn to make money? Well, I think it's really different for everyone. It's if you if you think about just going through the education material, that's probably 15 hours. It's not a lot, but you have to practice. And I think realistically, it takes at least three months of practice to read charts, ask me questions. I've had people do it quicker, but I've also had people do it for three years and still not get it. Uh, you got to put in the work. So it's um it's not complicated, but it does take practice. And I think it's important to run some of your stock picks by me. So one of the things I'll do for you as my student is you do your market scan. You think that Bombardier looks good. Say, Tyler, I ran the abnormal breaks strategy. I picked Bombardier. Am I on the right track? And I'll give you some feedback on that. And often I, I find that my students generally when they start out are not fussy enough. And that's one of the reasons we do those market scan sessions together so that I can show you after you've studied a bit and you've learned the material, hopefully, I can show you how I evaluate those charts. And almost always, I'm more fussy than my students. And so that's uh, a case of, of um, wanting to practice. If I upgrade to mentorship, can I access the upcoming education for free? Uh, yeah, yeah, you get that included. Maybe I didn't say that, sorry. Um, is there a peer group in Metro Vancouver? Yeah, you know, I've had a few people ask about that. And I think one of the things I'll look to do or look into in, um, in the new year maybe is setting up maybe some user groups because I feel like there's people that want to get together in Vancouver or Calgary or whatever um, at a Starbucks or what have you to exchange ideas and learn. So I'll have to think about how to do that. I know there's things like meetups and, and Google groups and things like that. If any of you know something about how to coordinate that, some, I know there's apps for it. So maybe fire me an email and it'll save me some time having to research it, what, what the best app is for that. But we could, I could help people sort of coordinate their own little groups in different parts of the world. Uh, most of our students are in Canada, but we have students all over the place. And uh, anyway, if if um, there's an interest in that and you know a little bit about setting those things up, please uh, give me a helping hand on that. So, all right, I think I've hit all the questions and answers there. So I'm gonna wrap up the presentation. I wanna thank you all for joining me. If you have any questions, there's my email address on screen. Again, my Twitter handle and the address for the Stock Scores YouTube channel. Notice it's stockscores.com spelled out. If you want to find it, you can just search for stock scores on YouTube and it'll come up as well. Thank you all for joining me today. 
And if you're watching this as a video, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you can email me at that address. And uh, otherwise, trade well. Thanks, everyone. Have a great rest of the day.